Hi everybody, welcome to the Pretty Life Girls channel. Today we are going to teach you how to make stretchy bracelets. My name is Sam and I am one half of the Pretty Life Girls. We love making these kinds of stretchy, stackable bracelets. You can use all different kinds of beads and we're gonna share some of our favorite tips and tricks for making these so that they don't fall apart, so that they're really stylish and we're so excited. But before we get into it, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. We post new videos every week. And if there are any videos you would like us to make, be sure and leave that in the comments. We love your suggestions. But for now, let's make bracelets. The first step in making your stretchy bracelets is to take a length of elastic. We like this kind of elastic, but if you wanted to use clear elastic like this, the knot is a little more slippery, so you'll probably want some super glue or jewelry glue to secure the knot at the end. So we use this kind of elastic just so that the knot holds a little better without glue, but we've cut a length of it, and so that we know how many beads to put on without having to hold it up to our wrist over and over, we just wrap it around our wrist and hold it and then pinch it tight while we pull it off. Take a Sharpie and mark the ends. So then we know that we want beads from here to here. With this, we can get started. So another tip we like to share if you are doing just a variety of beads that don't have letters or any kind of like charm or something that you want in the center, to take, this is a little craft clasp or you could take a small clothespin and clip it here to one end. Then you can do your beads from this end and the clasp will hold the beads, keep them from sliding off the edge. We're going to do letters on ours, and so we want to start with the middle. Let's do happy. So H, A, P, E, Y. Okay. And in this case, we want the word to be in the middle. So I'm going to add them first. And then I'll bring in our other beads on each side so that it's somewhat symmetrical. And if you're a planner, you could lay your beads out first to make sure you like what you're doing and then add them to the string. We're just gonna go for it for this. We like to use a variety of beads. So this bracelet is all crystal and it's so pretty, but we like to do a lot of different sizes and textures. So you can see in this one we have wood, we have clay, we have crystal, we have gold, we've got some matte and some shiny, and we like to do the variety, but it's all up to your own preference. So I'm gonna keep beading, and I wanna add some spacers on each side of my letters. And sometimes we stack our spacers, so we'll do multiples. Sometimes if your word's not too long, you might want a spacer between each letter. You can see how these markings are really helpful in knowing how much or how little of something to put on the bracelet. Once you like your beads, you are just gonna tie it in a basic knot. And again, if you're using a clear elastic that's a little more slippery, then this is where you would add just a dot of super glue on here this kind of elastic doesn't slip, so it will hold up fine. And if you want to hide the knot, you can be sure to use a bigger bead toward the end, like these wood ones are good because you can kind of tuck the knot in there. There are also crimp covers, so 
they're these little C-shaped bead type things and you would cut off the elastic and then put this over the knot and use your pliers to squeeze it. But we also wanted to show you an alternative to finishing your bracelet. And you can do this kind of ending with a crimp cover or with a bead. With a bead, you'll just have a little bit left. So if you are a little bit hanging out. So what you can do is take a bead, string it on, pull it down to like a half an inch, and then tie a little knot right here on the end. So you'll have two little tails. I'll show you with the crimp cover. So I'm just gonna tie a little knot, an inch or so, and then take my crimp cover and stick the knot in there. Squeeze this. And once you squeeze it, it looks like a bead almost. And then you can just clip this right up against it and it will hold right there. So again, if you did a bead, you'd put it on and tie a knot on the one end and then cut it a little bit close to the knot, but you don't wanna cut it too close. Let's do this other side. So crimp covers are a really good option for finishing bracelets this way. So tie the knot, take the crimp cover, Put the knot inside and then squeeze it all the way together and cut it. And that's a fun little, adds a little bit of personality to the bracelet and it looks so cute. Here's some other ones. This one we just did a normal knot and it kind of hides in under this bigger bead. This one we used clear elastic and we did glue on the knot so that it hides that way. So there are just lots of really fun ways to finish your bracelets and we hope that this is helpful. If you like this video, you can see more like it right here and be sure that you're subscribed. We will see you next week.